All right, y'all, before we get all the way into the video, y'all, it is around, it is 1027 right now, man. So I know this video is going to be going up late, but did y'all hit on them 11s today? I really wanted to see this shoe before I purchased it, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, I put in them things. Hey, your boy got the dub today. Y'all see it, man. And I got them things for under retail. Yes, Lord. Shout out to Sneakers app, man. For, you know, they've been messing with your boy. I can't, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying? I've been hitting on, I feel like, shoes that aren't really stupid exclusive except for the veneer dunks. But, yes, I got a dub. So, early review and on feet coming for you guys. Stay tuned to the channel for that. And with all that being said, let me know down below if you guys hit on them things. It seemed like a lot of people did. I'm going to really give you guys my honest opinion when the shoe come in. I'm going to do it on foot. I'm going to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know how I rock, man. If I buy a shoe, man, I only got one. I'm keeping it. So, I will be doing that. Stay tuned. But, man, enough of all of that. Let's get straight into these Midnight Navies. You did? It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never go step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lace up these plastic mid threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go out, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Midnight Navy COJP Air Jordan Retro 1 set to release on November 14th for a suggested retail of $170. Now, this shoe originally released back in 2001, and it was a Japan exclusive, just like another shoe that we did do a full detail review on our feet of earlier on this year. We've been seeing a lot of shoes coming out that were Japan only releases. Hence, we were supposed to have Olympics over there, so I think that's why they were bringing back a lot of those sneakers. But of course, due to everything going on in the world, things change. But with all that being said, shout out to the bro, the vintage man, for allowing us to get this early look. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the bro so you guys can check out the on feet early. He actually got early access on the sneakers app for these and he was able to hit so i appreciate you bro for letting me bring the channel this full detailed review with all that being said let's jump straight into it yeah y'all already know folks didn't rock these yet so i'm gonna give it to y'all man Woo -wee. hey and these things have officially been smell test approved by your boy the retro whiz kid let's get these things about the box and we in there yes lord yes lord y'all these things are big big fuego y'all man i am definitely gonna be going after these right here y'all let's go ahead and turn this camera around man take a look at the box and all the good details on this sneaker Yeti. So we have the silver Nike box. We saw this with the Tokyo Japan ones, the silver ones that came out earlier on this year. And I think it's a nice touch to give it a mix up and give us a different type of box for when you're stacking them boxes in the closet. Now the official name and colorway of this sneaker is the Air Jordan 1 High OG COJP. The official colorway is white metallic silver. Suggested retail $170. These will be releasing on November 14th. And this is the vintage size nine. On the inside, you have that same tissue paper that we saw in the other ones. Pay homage to the 2001 and then the 2020 with the Jumpman. And here is a nice little look over these buttery things, man. These things, big fuego. Color combination, very nice on these. Now, on the bottom of the sneaker, nothing crazy. Same bottom that we see on all Jordan 1s. Just a midnight navy blue bottom on these things. Now, when you're looking at the shoe from above right here on the midsole, you can see we have a white midsole. We have the midnight navy underneath that. On the front mud guard and on the back of the heel, as well as going up the lacing system, we have that midnight navy. Inner and outer panels of this sneaker, we have the white silver check on these things. We're going to get into the jump man and the laces and all that stuff in a nice close up, as well as the quality material that we have for that white on this sneaker. Here is a nice little spin again on these things, man. Suede is nice on these. I definitely would say they did their things on that. But one thing that I will point out that I think they did an awesome job with is the actual 
white leather material on this shoe. Right here is a nice little touch. You guys can see it's nice and crinkly. Right here, I'm gonna give you guys another test because you know a lot of people are into that tumbled, tumbled leather type vibe. These are soft and plus, just like the tongue, man. The white tumble on this tongue, look at this thing, man. It is like really smooth and wrinkly right here. Now you do have the Nike Air right there and it is actually stitched on the tongue right there, not your normal Nike tag like what we're used to seeing. Silver Wings logo right there. There's a nice little look at the check again as well. Black on that Wings logo as well. I love the way that they did that, nice contrast. Behind the tongue we have the red Jumpman, black background, white numbers, you know what I'm saying, 2001 to 2020 of course paying homage to 2001 when it came out and bringing it back now on the insole right there you have the cojp the jump man the size tag and then we have that midnight navy insole with the midnight navy sock liner to complement the sneaker as well you do have blue laces that come inside of this sneaker right here but i definitely think that the white is the way to go with these i normally go matching the tongue up with whatever lace the tongue you know got to match that thing up nice look at the back right there and dripping around these things one more good time for you guys let me know what you guys think about these things definitely big fuego fire flame for me definitely a must cop i'm willing to pay that resale to pay to play for these man because as it's looking right now this is going to be a hard sneaker to cop out here where i'm located at but yes let me know if you guys plan on going after these things big fuego fire flame yeti I hope you guys enjoyed the full detail review over the Midnight Navy Air Jordan Retro 1 COJP. Will you guys be going after this sneaker on November 14th? I definitely will be going after this shoe. Let me know how you guys feel about these down in the comment section below. And which one you rocking with harder? Are you rocking with this pair? Are y'all rocking with these? Or y'all rocking with the Tokyo joints, man? I honestly like the midnight navies more i just feel like they go with more but i like this colorway because it's unique i don't own this might be yeah this is the only sneaker that i own i have shoes with gray but this has more like a, a silver type vibe to it so very unique as you guys can see i did lace walk which when i do get my pair i probably if i don't hit on sneakers or something like that because these are going to be really hard to get where i live i'm gonna have to pay to play with these so i'll be paying resale for them but y'all let me know what you guys think which pair y'all rocking with heavier man it is your boy the retro whiz kid i will spend them pictures for y'all until the next video y'all already know what to do like comment and subscribe peace love in laguna beach and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one Yeti! it's a couple jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection you just collect them you never go step in i can respect it but that ain't for me i gotta lay so deep let's see me threes and throw a little fit together get on the go out place a bid and hopefully i can just hit forever i'm from the bottom a little one around with this part of our culture you gotta be proud where i'm flowing with the air forces put that shit on to the day that i die nikes over oddity dies they're stressed and i don't even try take all my jordans and forces away from me and watch a young nigga still kill it I'm putting you down.